Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be ranking up, leveling up a few champions. As you can see, we had a mutant advancement on at the same time as the level up. And you saw that I already had points in both of those. So you know I leveled up a mutant champion. Now, by the time you see this video, you'll already know what mutant champion I took up. Uh, it would have been in, I believe, one of the previous um, Mystery Rank Up theaters. So in this one, we're just basically doing the rest of what I did during that uh, level up and advancement. And normally I try to cover like two different uh, level ups, but I had enough that I did in this one that I felt like I shouldn't add anything more Let's keep the video to around 10 minutes. I think this one ended up being about 13 minutes. Um, and then I'll just break it up because I know from comments, uh, folks don't always like to watch really long uh, videos. And 10 minutes seems to be a, a nice sweet spot. All right, so you see I had the uh, two-star rogue. And of course, now's the time to take her up. You got a mutant advancement. I already did a, a, you know, another mutant level up. So this is more points. You'll notice that she's not awakened. So I'll be awakening her and putting sig stones into her. I'll also be using any sig stones that I have that are mutant into some champions. Okay. So there she goes. She's uh, just about up there. I did use some of the off class ones just just because it's a two star and I don't really care uh, but if you are concerned with your gold and you're trying to be as efficient as possible you don't want to use the gray ISO if you can help it you want to use the class ISO all right so you can see I have a bunch of other champions that um, I just recently got that I'll be uh, leveling up so Here's what I was talking about here. Uh, she's the only one. I think all of my two stars are awakened. Uh, so we awakened her because we had just recently got her. And that's why I don't awaken them. I wait for something like this. And I try not to use my Sig Stones unless it is during an advancement. So I can get those points. All right. So we did what we set out to do. Now, you see I have a lot of five-star uh, mutant uh, sig stones. So this is where we're at right now in the mutant advancement. Okay, so I'm going over here to my items. And I believe I'm going right to the um, mutant. Uh, yep, five-star mutant. Use those. And I like to do it there because it'll show me who is available. And... Uh, I decided to use these on Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine benefits from these because it makes his um, regen stronger. Now, I use Wolverine along with Apocalypse. I make Wolverine uh, a horseman. So he's got a pretty strong uh, heal anyway. But the more Sig levels the more powerful the heal. I, I, I like Wolverine, you know? So bottom line, he's a rank five. I do use him. He can use the Sig Stones. So we went with that. Okay, so now at this point, I don't have any more mutant related things to do, but you can also get points in advancements by opening crystals. So that's why you saw me open up those four star uh, even though I have all the four stars in the crystal and it would only be for ISO or points in the advancement. Now, I would like to see Kabam include a few more crystal types because they recently changed things so that uh, like the premium hero crystal shards, I don't get them like I used to. They changed those to, I believe, the Grandmaster shards, which is great. I love that because you can get more out of those crystals than you could out of the premiums, but they don't count 
towards the advancements. So I'm getting less ability to get points. Uh, I used to have, uh, I think, over a million. Okay, you can see my Grandmaster Crystals are getting up to that million shard mark. All right, we're speeding this up because I know you guys don't want to see all that. Um, but I'm just opening these up for the points. That's it. Now, because I don't get a lot of these, I don't want to do this too much because I will run out and I don't get them in uh, as abundantly as I used to. Um, but you'll be able to see what that number of premiums got me. Now, the rewards for the advancement are not that great. Uh, they need to be updated, but they're not that great. I still like to do it, but the time is coming when I'm not going to push for that unless I just happen to have a lot of mutant resources and uh, rank ups, and I'm already close. So you see I got there. I usually like to put over 130,000 points, so we did that. Now, I waited for the final event, as you can see. The final event was Tech Combat. So no more advancement. So what we're going to do here uh, at this point is work on the level up. And it just so happens that I got a lot of champions, a lot of new six-star champions that need to get ranked up. Okay, just leveled up, not ranked up, but leveled up. So you can see Anne, uh, America Chavez, um, uh, Craven is a four-star and I will be ranking him up. I was hesitant to do it because I wasn't sure if I wanted to wait for a skill advancement to do that, but I decided to just go ahead and uh, take him up. And I'm running out, at this point, I'm running out of four stars that are rank three, okay? So you see here, he's rank three, but I'm running out, all right? Most of my four stars are already at this point rank four or five. So, you know, I'm looking here and I'm just like, boy, you know, should I, should I do that? Should I take him to rank four? And I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's think about that for a little bit. Let's go, um, take some of these guys up. Purgatory, Rhino, America Chavez, all of them need to go up to, uh, uh, level 25. Uh, so, uh, I don't like having my six stars at rank one, level one. So they don't tend to stay there past the next level up. So, you know, I might have a current level up where I got them. I'll either level them up that level up, or it'll be the very next level up. But that's usually how I do it. Uh, I could have waited, but I grind arena and I like having my six stars uh, rank one, level 25 at the bare minimum. They still are too expensive to take to rank two, but that will be a goal of mine. Take all of my six stars to at least rank two. So slowly but surely, I'm taking my six stars to rank two. Uh, but for now, we're just going to get them to level 25 and leave it at that. The next uh, level up, if there is a mystic advancement at the same time, then I might consider taking up a six star to rank two if I have the resources. Um, but at, at this particular point in time, I didn't have anybody really planned out uh, to take up to rank two, but I always do that. Rank two, uh, six star, or rank three, six star, and later when I finally get a, a rank four, uh, I always do those in their own videos. The only uh, videos that I'll make like this in a video like this will be champions that are going to rank four or four star rank ups, four star rank ups or five stars to rank four. Even a five star to rank five, I still try to make a separate video for them. Um, but that's kind of how I do that. All right, and you see I have that three-star Craven there as well. Uh, and I believe, because uh, it's been a little bit since I um, did this rank up, 
but I believe that I left the three star Craven for a skill advancement. So I just left him alone until, you know, I could see whether we were going to get an advancement or I just ran out of patience, uh, which also happens. Okay, so this would have been a perfect time if we could have lined it up and a mystic advancement was uh, occurring at the same time as this uh, level up, this would have been great. And sometimes it lines up like that. Uh, right now, it's just random. We have no idea when these things come in. So I could either just wait, wait, wait. And the next time a mystic advancement comes along, it may not be during a level up. So I've made the decision that the rewards are not worth it. Uh, it's great if I can line it up and I might wait a little bit, but usually I'm not going to wait very long. The, the uh, advancement rewards aren't worth it. Now, if they change those rewards and update them and it becomes worth it, you might see me uh, actually saving and waiting a little bit longer. All right, so there's America Chavez. And now we've got Rhino. Now, Rhino, I, I was happy to get Rhino because he was new and that's more points in the arena. I'm also hoping that Rhino gets a nice little rework. I really hope that he does. Uh, and there are several things that I could see them doing with Rhino. Um, but I used to have fun with Rhino. Being able to basically intercept at will. You know, I would just fight and just keep dashing, dashing, dashing. And, and it was fun. You know, sometimes I'd get the unblockable. So it was it was fun. So, yeah, there, there are things that they could do to make Rhino uh, really, really fun. Uh, and he doesn't have to be as good as some of these, you know, higher, uh, you know, popularity uh, champions. But he could be much, much more fun than he is right now. Uh, but anyway, so that was the level up. But we're not done. We're not done yet. OK, so I looked here and I saw this level up. And as I told you, I like to do. Um, 130 plus, right? But I'm looking at this, and at this time, you notice that I got a lot of new six stars. So you know I opened a lot of six star crystals. That's not normal. I don't usually have that many. I don't hold them, okay? So what was going on around this time, there were a lot of people opening up a lot of crystals. And I got nervous. I was like, maybe that 130 plus isn't going to be enough this time. So I went back to Craven and took him to rank four. Remember, I was looking at him before and I was like, should I, should I? When I saw my score at the end of all the others, I decided to go back in and go ahead and take him up. Now, I'm not going to show the um, screenshot. I know I have them somewhere, but the problem is when I wait too long, I sometimes mix them up. OK, so I'm not sure which went with which, but I did get the one to 10 percent like I usually go for. OK, that much I can tell you. 156 got me that. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.